Hey guys, welcome back to Maison Molly. I'm Ash Molly, and today we're gonna be taste testing the new Lamina over ice pot. Of course guys, if you're new here, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. I love having you guys here. Don't forget, you can always find me over on Instagram and TikTok at Maison Molly, where I make daily coffee recipe videos. If that's something you're interested in, you can find me right here. Guys, let's taste test the new Lamina over ice. Alrighty guys, so let's hop right into it. Today we're taste testing the new Lamina Over Ice capsules. They're in Nespresso's newest launch for summer pods. As you guys know, last year they did Coconut Over Ice, which to me was just, you know, not my jam. And so I'm interested to see how I will like this new capsule. Nespresso has actually launched quite a few bit of pods this last two weeks or so. There's the Lamina over ice, there's the H Sumatra, Paris, Istanbul, and Rio de Janeiro. So I don't know if I'll be reviewing all of those pods. A lot of them are original line and you guys know I just got a new Creatista Plus. Um, if you haven't seen that video, you guys can check it out right here. But I just have to figure out how I want to go about reviewing all of those pods. Nevertheless, today we are here for Laminia, the newest. Um, I'm going to try to make this video short because I have so many pots to review. And I think I'm just going to do these simultaneously so I won't do one and then the other. We're going to taste test them together at once. And the one that I like the best, we're going to use it for a special recipe. So yes guys, a little bit about the pots before we hop into the video. We know that there is a Virtual and Original Line. Starting with Original Line, which I'm not going to lie, I actually tried it last uh, Wednesday when I first got it, um, but I'm trying it again so that you guys can get an in the moment review of it. This pot of course is a single espresso shot. Here on the box, Espresso describes it as this classic tropical combination meets light and delicately fruity, a lemony sweetness and a hint of bitterness emerges in this coffee made for ice and then they give you a little idea of how you can make it it says one coffee capsule over a handful of ice cubes to extend the treat top it up with some cold water so that's what it says about this one but then when we get into Vertuo we see that it is actually a double espresso which I'm excited about because um, I love double espressos and espresso really doesn't do a lot of them here, Nespresso says, um, a beautiful balance of tangy lime and refreshing mint flavors bring a twist to the light, fruity, and cereal notes of the um, African blend. Bright and breezy, the signature of summer refreshment transports you to the tropics. Again, it says one capsule over a cup of ice, um, extend it with cold water. So both of these are saying lime, they are saying minty, a little bit of bitterness. They're saying to pair it back to ice and water. And I don't know, I'm a bit skeptical because I'm definitely like a latte kind of girl. Like I love to have milk in my coffee. So I'm interested to see what I will think about these, but um, let's get to brewing. sometimes even though they tell you to do it that way because when I store it this is neater to tuck back in whereas this just kind of stays out
so as you can see I've got the pods all brewed up and I've got two glasses to try Laminia over ice for original line and for Virtuo uh, let's grab our first shot oh, I spilt it now before I pour this in I will let you guys know while you're brewing it you definitely smell those notes of like lime and lemon smells very fresh like I can smell it right now and we're gonna pour that in right there we go <laughs> and next up alrighty now I've got the Virtuo double espresso and I've got some ice so we're gonna pour that all in Wow two straws One for Virtuo. <laughs> this is fun. One for Original. Let's give it a go. Uh, the boxes didn't mention intensity. I will look it up and see if these pods do have a level of intensity. But I think that Original line definitely looks a little bit lighter in color. Don't know if that makes a difference, but let's see. Okay, Virtuo. wow okay pretty bold definitely have that after bitter taste and you can definitely definitely taste the lime mm -hmm. a lot of lime guys it's different because we're not used to just having our coffees like this at least not on this channel so that's different let's try original The original line it's different it's softer I guess that kind of attributes to the color you can tell it's a little bit like less intense and a little bit fruitier as well yeah definitely has that like fruitier sour after kick less lime more lime I will say though one more thing as the ice starts to melt in these that's my favorite sound <laughs> Instagram reels guys but as the ice starts to melt in these it definitely softens the intensity of course and so now Virtuo has become a lot smoother not like that original kick And this one, it just keeps getting fruitier and fruitier, fruitier with every sip. It's quite interesting. They taste different, as usually happens with the original wine, but still quite the same. Yeah, hmm. I don't know. I like them both. But maybe original line has a little bit more flavor honestly guys I think this one can go either way I'm gonna add a splash of sparkling water to this and see what we think and then we can decide which we want to use for the recipe hold on so I picked up a bottle of Perrier from the store because I knew I would want to add to these coffees so splash into Virtuo. Spritzy. Ooh. And then the Perrier does have, I don't know if this one's lime. It's not. This one's not flavored, but it definitely brings out the lime in this. I like that a lot. I like it a lot with the sparkling water added to it. Original. good not a disappointment like that coconut <laughs> guys if you leave it up to me I will throw coconut over ice or whatever that thing was called shade any chance I get 
this is nice it's like a refreshing kind of soda because it has that lemon flavor to it and it's spritzy i don't know which one i like better it's a problem i don't know it's hard I think I may go with the original line just because it has that like sour fruit taste to it and it's so it gives a little bit more flavor which is usually known for original line so I think I'll use the original line for my recipe let's do it recipe it's lemon over ice with sparkling pellegrino water and a little bit of Tarani's pure made coconut syrup we're tasting this let's see what we think honestly guys it's so good it's like fruity with a hint of coconut very spritzy it's almost like drinking a soda to be honest I really, really like this one. I can see this being one of my summer drinks. Yeah, it's really good. It's different, but it's really good. I rather like it. Now, another thing you guys can do, I have this Chobani Flip Creamer. I added a splash to it if you need that milk, right? If you're not used to your coffees, um, being without milk, you can add something like the Chobani Flip Creamer to it. <sighs> Guys, so good. It tastes just like summer. It's just really refreshing and happy and fun. Definitely gonna be one of my summer drinks. As always guys, thank you so much for stopping by me as I'm Molly. It's always a good time to have you guys here. Drop it in the comments down below. Let me know, will you be purchasing Laminia over ice? If so, are you getting it in virtual or are you getting it in original or maybe you're getting it in both? Don't forget guys, if you found value in this video, subscribe down below and I'll see you guys next time.